Titi Vanga Mumutima Yendanawa no Atawana Yesumana we manawa mudije Yonio Vanga Yendana Arroya Zamu Wana Amasoya Jenny. Hari Masambiri Nikichi. Plan crashed around eight eight thirty five. We heard a loud noise. Then we went outside, we looked, there was a, a fire in the air. Then we started hearing noises of shotguns. I felt unease, I felt scared. We ran toward those mountains. We thought maybe we were safe. But then we arrived at the roadblock. Whenever there was a roadblock, adults who had an identity card were obliged to show it. My parents had taken this and turned them up. But if you didn't have it to show to the people at the roadblock, this showed you were a Tutsi. So right away my parents were taken and killed at that first roadblock. <laughs> My sister said, let, let me go and find a place where you can hide. He took me to this young man who lived nearby. At that point, I could say that I was lucky because I had a place to stay. So this young man would come and rape me whenever he felt like it. They came, they told us to, all of us to go outside. Then they said, we want all the men to come out. We are not going to touch women and children. So they took all the men out, among others, my husband. They, they took him. Even up to now, I don't know where they put him because other people find remains of their loved ones, but I have never found the remains of my husband. They decided they would open every house which was locked so they can kill anyone who is hiding in the house. So when these militia killers came and looked at me, looking like a skeleton, I started shaking, 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 shaking. Even if, I don't know, even if they would have killed me, I couldn't have felt the pain because I was shaking so hard. They looked at me, they said, oh, this one is, a, is about to die anyway. Let's not get our hands dirty. Yes, it hurts to remember. It hurts very much. Because the killers made me a widow, a young widow that still needed love from her husband. My children were still young when my husband, their father, got killed. They don't know how good, how nice it is to be the loving father and the loving mother who love each other, who love the ch their children. I found out I was pregnant. I had to have a baby without anyone around me, no relative, nothing, nothing, no, no money. No, I had nothing. 
Then I had this baby that I got from the rape. I, I don't know what I can say now. 